Experience is always better in a group. The Christian experience, doubly so. We're just a group of gamers that love to talk about life, God, and video games, in no particular order. So whether you're a newbie or a grizzled ancient like us, we want to help each other roll the level. Welcome to another edition of the Roll the Level podcast. My name is Matt, and we are excited to dive in this week. I Woo! actually missed last week because of vacation. We missed you. Um, I know Jeez. it was it was it was great to be away. We had a great time, but I am super glad to be back in the office, so to speak, um, and uh, recording. So that's really, 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 really exciting. But uh, with me, I have my good friends Dame and Sarah. Dame, how you doing, buddy? I am doing all right. I have fuel courtesy of the Spruced Goose Station here this morning. So shout outs, <laughs> nice shout outs to uh, to my people down at the Spruced Goose. Actually, it's it's a super super cool place. Uh, nice. It's nice. it's uh it's actually run by um by a local abbey uh that's the the sisters of mercy are uh, are behind okay. uh, b- behind the spruce goose cafe um they have uh, they have some residents that have some like developmental dis- uh, delays and uh, like down syndrome and stuff like that that they employ gotcha. at uh, at the spruce goose as just kind of a way to, to kind of uh you know get them some working skills and 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 stuff like that and and it's just it's just such a neat environment to be in uh, and they make really good coffee too. The breakfast mm. is fantastic <laughs> <Bonus>. too. <laughs> they didn't pay me to say that this morning. I just <laughs> happened to have breakfast there this morning. <laughs> this is this is not a sponsored episode. No, this <laughs> is not not spawn. Hashtag not non spawn. Non spawn. That's right. That's right. Awesome, Sarah. How are you doing? Oh, you know, child go back goes back to school, and I'm instantly sick. No, oh, no, oh, no. It's just tis the season. So oh, that's so no good. <laughs> that's how it is. That's that's fair. That's fair. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. It's, it's just how it is. Yeah, that's true. I mean, let's let's be honest. Like schools are just a cesspool of germs. So. Yep. Well, I just happened to get sick first. The the yeah. running joke in our house is that you know, I mean, my my wife has been a teacher for years, and so uh, the running joke is that you know she's walking around the school with a bunch of walking petri dishes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> truth. <laughs> so truth. Is you never you 100%. never quite know. When when something's <laughs> going to develop in one of those dishes? Oh, so true, man. So true. It's, it's a hundred uh, every school day. What will we come home with? <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, it's so uh, so good to be diving back in this week. You guys did a great job last week. I just oh, finished the video edit, uh, late last night, um, early this morning, and uh, it was great. So that's up on YouTube. Actually, if you're more of a, a visual versus an audio uh, person. Uh, we do post our um, our podcasts uh, both to uh, Podbean and through whatever service you get those from, but also through YouTube as well if you like the old videos. Um, and that's been a, a science project, so uh, it is. Bear, <laughs> bear with us as we figure it all out. But it's it's um, been a fun science project, I think. It has. And it's it it's has. nice to be seen, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's nice to see you there, but we're not really yeah. seeing you, the yeah, listener, yeah. there. But you see us that's there, true. so I mean, that's I true. guess it's that's half. Right. We're meeting halfway, yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of. So it's true. When we started doing this, I, I always go back to that uh, scene in um, Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets, where Locker comes out. Can everybody hear me? Can everybody see me? Oh, and the marathon of that and Labor Day weekend, it was great. I oh, did you? All the movies. Oh, so good, so good, <laughs> awesome. So uh, today, I want to talk about um, uh, kind of a fun topic, and that is video game <laughs> oh, dumpster man. fires. Well, um, not not necessarily <laughs> that that the games themselves are dumpster fires. But yeah, more more specifically that um, that uh, games that like were all hyped up and then just had terrible launches. Um, <sighs> And yeah. I mean, some of those games, don't get me wrong, some of those games have come back to redeem themselves. So we're not, you know, so to clarify, I don't want to, we're not here just to dump on games, but, but the reality is some games just have bad launches mm. uh, or they're overhyped. Uh, some, some, and actually one of those we were talking about uh, today was so dramatically impacted by the hype train and mm. it just really derailed it. And I think it, it built some expectation that wasn't the original intent, but we'll get there. Yeah. But anyway, what, uh, what for you guys has kind of been, you know, one of the, the big, the big games that just had a dumpster fire launch. Um, the Dame, what about you, buddy? What do you, what's your thoughts? Oh man, this, this one is hard for me because this one was, kind of, this was really personal. Um, fallout 76, uh, oh. just struggled. I warned you. I, I know you did. And I, <laughs> and I even previewed the game and I experienced it pre-launch and in, in all of its bugginess. Yeah, yeah. Um, here, here's the thing. I mean, 
is, is it was a largely enjoyable experience, bugs and all. I mean, the bugs were kind mm. of part of the charm of the original yeah, I get, experience. Yeah. Bethesda, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, because, I mean, when you can do goofy things, you know, with it, mm. within that, I mean, it's 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 just a, it makes for a pretty fantastic and just just hilarious slapstick experience, uh, which, you know, you guys know me. I don't mind that whatsoever. <laughs> true, true. I get it. Totally. Uh, but uh, but it was it was so it was so rough because because there was a there was a duplication bug where you mm. could duplicate items and so players just had these these massive inventories worth of mm. of items that they were carrying around so every time that they would log into these worlds they their characters would be bringing all of these items into a a server that was never meant to handle that <laughs> that <laughs> much that much and so so you had server crashes you had you know the the lagginess from that of like opening your own menus and and whatnot <laughs> uh it, it this the struggle the struggle was was real uh yeah, yeah, with, yeah. within that but uh but i think that i don't, I don't want to say it's a close second but it was also but it's kind of a second thing Thing that comes to mind was the the initial launch of Diablo three. Uh, yeah. The, uh, oh, error thirty seven. Error thirty seven. Oh my yep. gosh! Yep. I didn't even play the game, but I knew all about that. <laughs> you knew the <laughs> you meme. Watch the news blow up. <laughs> you, uh, you knew the meme because it was yeah. one of those things that it just it happened and it was just it was devastating and and you know mm. to the but fortunately I mean that game is now like in what its eighteenth season. Oh. Yeah. And it's still great. It's still it, great. It is. It is. Yeah. We're going to be Reapers, playing some of that. Reapers of Souls, the expansion for that game, just just it <sighs> fixed so many things. It it did um, a lot of very very right things with that yeah. game. But I don't want to monopolize the conversation, so I'm going to go ahead and throw <laughs> it over to Sarah. Um, I'm going to use two games too. Um, but what one has redemption and one did not. Okay. Uh -oh. Um, yeah. So the first one, I'll start with a good. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, mm. which you guys uh, are playing right now, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, totally deep in it. Uh, and when it came out originally, I think it was 2013. Like, I was in college, so I was like ready to take the day off, or let's be honest, the week off of school, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, play it to my heart's content. And I was in the, uh, the beta for it too, and everything. And mm -hmm. like, I was just like, oh, you're ready. Oh, is this is this what it is though? <laughs> <laughs> like the game wasn't finished there was no chocobos how do you have final fantasy with no chocobos what um, it's, you don't no exactly it's not final fantasy then and the game you had to have a really good computer to run it yeah. and it you you couldn't load more than 20 people in the game without it crashing <laughs> like that's, but yeah, it's yeah. an hardly, mmo i was gonna say that's hardly <sighs> that hardly uh, fits that massively part of exactly <laughs> of it was not very massive online. And every time you switched gear, it would take like a second to switch each piece of gear. And it's like, oh, okay. Oh, server so, yeah, it was so bad. They just took it offline. But it did have redemption because a Realm Reborn came back strong. Mm. And it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, it was what it is now. And it is awesome. Like, just so fast and fluid and fun. Um, but the game that did not have redemption was my poor Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Friend. I love that game. I love that series. I even love Andromeda. But man, that it was so bad. It killed a whole franchise. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, am, I will never see the end of that series. I'm yeah. really, really hoping that a perfect world would be that since since Bioware and Respawn are under the same house, I would love True. to see the two <sighs> of those partner to bring yeah. Mass Effect back yeah. in a big way. Agreed. Just finish the DLC for Andromeda. That's all I'm asking. Please, somebody <laughs> out there, finish the DLC so I can finish Andromeda's story, and I'll be very happy. Um, well, I would also be happy with Mass Effect 5 or whatever, but right. uh, yes, I would like that franchise to come back in some way, shape, or form because it is too good to just leave by the wayside. Mm. But yes. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's, that's fair. Side note, sometime we need to build the perfect game, at least theoretically. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, just I don't think there. the three of us could. We yeah, have such Theoretically, we're just going to combine all our powers and come up with the perfect game. Um, <laughs> for who? For, for an episode. Yeah. No, no, for us. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> it'd have to be like a game in three parts, like you, you, like three different yeah. servers. They all do different things. Oh, uh, it'd be great. We're going we're gonna to do that sometime as, a, as an episode. But anyway, um, the game I want to talk about uh, today was one that actually I was very excited about just mm. Because of the the background um, leading up to the game release, um, the development of the game was really unique and kind of cool what they were doing. And the scope of what this game was trying to accomplish was unheard of. Uh, it really was. 
Yeah, and and I mean, arguably, no one's really done it since um, to that scale. Um, and and uh, that game is actually No Man's Sky. Um, man, that that game, like Hello Games. Uh, I think before that, they had built like these little like Joe Danger games. Yeah, and stuff they like were that. fun. <laughs> yeah, and they were great games, but they were like it's a small but they were, company. Like, Trials esque. Like... Yeah, exactly. It's like a small company that was kind of doing this one two or just build, you know pumping up these games. And they're great little games, but then but then uh, they get on there and they're like, yeah, we're building a procedurally generated universe. Yeah, not just the, world. That's, that's not small feet at yeah. all. Universe. Universe. Um, to scale. To yeah. scale. It was like some you will never see anybody stars. ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was insane, and um, and like they had figured out the math on how to generate and populate and 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 produce this insane two scale model of a universe. Um, and and so the hype train for this thing, like I remember Sony just like lifting this thing up oh, on, yeah. on a stand, right, for all to see and hyping it up, and and I think I think this is where you know the the hype train kind of took over, and I think it really hurt the game uh, unfortunately because um it, it, it when it came out it wasn't a terrible game no it just it wasn't was, what people were expecting it yeah. wasn't live what people up were to the, or the shell it, of the what it was supposed to be yeah, didn't yeah. Hype to be didn't live up to the expectations of what yeah. it was supposed yeah. to be and people got really 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 disenchanted Whoa. by that yeah there were there were riots in the street people died <laughs> it was terrible yeah. um but um yeah and it was disappointing because it like again it had all and it had a lot of the things that it said it was going to have it just was missing a lot of things that you know uh, a lot of people hate on the 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 kind of the lead developer on that and stuff like that because he promised all this stuff yeah. um i think there's probably more more blame given to him than there should have been i mean um, i mean let's let's be fair though i mean yeah. on the on the positive note i mean gamestop took it back for 50 cents so i mean <laughs> <laughs> they did that's all right yeah that's the beauty of gamestop they'll right. always take it back for 50 they'll always cents. take it back <laughs> like 50 cents <laughs> yeah. but i say i say all that to say that you know what's been awesome is over the years they stuck with their game they yes. did um, yep. they Could've did not abandon it. this game they kept dropping you know patches upon patches upon patches yeah. free ones and not just like hey we fixed a bug it's like hey we added a whole new kind of content a whole new yeah. mechanic a whole new this a whole new that and now what started out as this like single player um really uh, arguably very boring experience because like conceptually it sounds really cool that you can explore a whole planet until you have to walk across the whole <laughs> right <laughs> right and then it's like oh wow this is really boring um but they 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 kind of took it from that spot and and now they just dropped the latest uh, content release here back in I think it was July wasn't it July or August I think August August yeah and, and I mean it's sense. this full multiplayer experience and they've got all of these new content pieces to it and it's turned into a really incredible game um, and you know I, it's it's funny because I, I always kind of it was one of those games I was rooted for because I conceptually loved it and I love the art style and just what they try to do and it's so cool to see it almost almost redeemed right in a yeah. lot of ways it's yeah. been restored um and and it's so such a neat thing but it got me thinking about um you know uh, uh, really about our own lives uh, mm. which is kind of interesting um to me because you know the reality is is like god god has created us all for a unique purpose and we'll yeah. talk a little more on that in a second and all the parts are there right like god has given us the gifting and and the minds to work a certain way and our bodies to do certain things because we have purpose but I think what happens a lot of times is we don't live out that purpose. And so we end up just essentially derailing ourselves. We start pursuing things that we're not really built for. We start going after things that, that don't really have eternal value. And then we, we live very unsettled lives. And we're always kind of riding from one thing to the next. And it's, you know, we end up creating our own dumpster fire uh, of a life. Um, and uh, it was interesting. It reminded me of a piece of scripture. And Dame, I'll be honest. I can't remember if you said you were going to read it. If I, I was gonna read yeah, it. I got I got it pulled up right here. You yeah, do, all right, man. Let's see, you're right on top. I like that. Uh, I, that I do what I can. I do what I can. <laughs> uh, the piece of scripture is found in John ten ten. It says, "The thief mm. comes only to steal and kill and destroy." And this is Jesus mm. talking. He says, "But yep. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full." Mm. Yeah, and man, that is such an incredible passage of scripture. Because there's this, you know, th there's this stark contrast between this is what your life looks like without Jesus, <laughs> yeah. um, and it's a life of, of of destruction and death, and 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 things are stolen away, and joy is gone, and all this stuff. And then the contrast of this is this is what life looks like with Jesus, and it is a life that is full, and you're living it to the full. 
And, um, you know, I, I know, I know all of us cause uh, we all have our stories and our backgrounds and stuff, but I, 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 um, I'd ask you guys to kind of prep beforehand, you know, to share a story of kind of coming from point A to point B. And, uh, I'm hoping you guys are ready for that cause I'm going to throw it at you now, oh, but, oh, um, <laughs> oh, I'm, um, I am not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's good. It's good. I, I actually have, uh, just present stuff uh that's going on yeah. with uh yeah, yeah. even this last month of uh of moving into a new role in ministry and and I know I've talked mm-hmm. uh, about this as we've we've started this new season and uh whatnot but uh but just last night I was uh I was talking with a with an old friend and mentor of mine and uh and he he asked like hey how's how's the new gig going like how are how are you yeah, feeling yeah. like with the church and 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 stuff like that and you know i said you know man it's it's been amazing uh to to be able to be here and to to mm. connect with this church and we've been so warmly welcomed and 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 so loved and and that's been and we love the people it's been such an amazing fit from that standpoint it's like but i gotta mm. be honest with you that there are some mornings where i'm like god why did you do this like why did why did you why do you, yeah. why me like in this in this place here at this time like i just i i really am there are some moments where i really really struggle with that and wondering mm. like okay um you know am i equipped for this and, and whatnot. Yeah. And, uh, and I think those are the moments, like when you have those moments of doubt where, uh, where it feels like you're in a, you're in a place where, um, you have no idea what to do, or you, you're struggling to see what God is doing within the situation. And, and I've shared many times on the podcast about different times in my life where, where I've had situations like that. But, but in this one, as I was talking with Marty about this, he, he said, dude, he's like, you were literally created for this. Mm. He's like, you were, you were literally created for, for this purpose. Embrace it, embrace it. Like do, do the thing that, that you truly believe is right. And God breathed and holy Mm -hmm. and good and, and do it with all of your strength and with all the conviction that God has put in you. Um, because, because in that, like it's embracing that life to the fullest, right. You know, where like, it's not just, I'm, I'm floating through this moment. And I, and I think that's one of the things that, that is, uh, that, that when we talk about the scripture, when we look at at the scripture, that's, that's really important. Um, sometimes in, in, in Christianity, one of the things that we do is we look at, at people outside of the church and we, and we go like, oh man, I just don't know how they do life. And I just don't know how they do this thing. And and I I think that's kind of an unfair I, I think it's a, l- a little bit unfair to, to, to say that, um, because it's one of those things where like, if, if you've experienced, if, if you have only had one experience, that's all, you know, you're ignorant yeah. about, about yeah. anything else. And ignorance it, is not necessarily a bad thing. It just means that you just don't know, uh, yeah. if the, anything else than, than what there is. Um, but in Jesus, there's, there's this life to the, to a fuller extent. Like it's, it's, it's life plus ultra, uh, you know, the, <laughs> <laughs> just throw a little, my hero academia in there, which is great, great, great anime if you've not seen yeah, it. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's just, there's, mm. there's this extra layer of when, when you start to, to follow Jesus and, and to really pay attention to his design for, for life and our purpose and, and whatnot, yeah. there's a greater sense of not just the urgency of, of the here and now of why we're here, but also the, the wonder of like, God, I get to partner with you in this world that you have created, that you spoke and breathed into, and you Mm -hmm. know me and you've created me to be a part of this world, your world at this time during this season for purpose and for reason and for partnership with you. And it's, (laughs) (laughs) but, but I will say in the flip side of that, that Mm. in those moments where it's hard for me to see that, those are the moments where I struggle the most and where I feel like there's, there's Mm -hmm. something that's been robbed from me in that, in that moment where, um, where there's, there's a joy that should be there or that could be there, I should say, or a Mm -hmm. contentment that could be there that, uh, the outside of Christ or apart from Christ, or even when I'm trying to do the thing on my own strength, that, uh, that just, that, that ends up being more destructive than it is constructive. Uh, Mm Um, God will always breathe life into things. He'll always bring, he'll always bring purpose and and restoration into things. Even, even if Mm -hmm. they feel like hot garbage or dumpster fires at at the moment, (laughs) uh, you know, we were, we were talking about no man's sky here, here a second ago. I mean, the pieces are all there. 
I mean, even yeah, in yeah. even in you know No Man's Sky or or Fallout seventy six. Uh, you know, the beginning of Final Fantasy 14, I can't really speak about because, I mean, a Final Fantasy game always has chocobos. It always has moogles. It always has a Sid, you know, Vix, <laughs> yeah. true. Vix and Wedge. <laughs> These are staples. So, so those are staples. If those aren't there, the pieces aren't there for success. <laughs> but, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but each of these other experiences had pizza, pieces all there for success for the purpose of the, the games to be amazing things, just like our lives. You know, God places the different pieces there. Um, sometimes it just takes us, you know, pulling all of those things and, you know, getting all those things in our hands and going, okay, okay, God, I know this thing is here, but I don't know what to do with it. Here it is. Truth. Truth. Absolutely. No, I, I totally agree with you. And I want to share, I'll touch on that in a little bit, but, um, but Sarah, why don't you share a little bit of uh, uh, kind of your, your life story? I don't know. Like I've shared a lot about my journey mm-hmm. uh, as a Christian and man, it is a roller coaster. <laughs> it yeah. is a constant Boy, roller coaster. <laughs> um, so I'll be honest. I have, a struggle finding purpose Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um like like i recently have found people around me finding their purpose Mm. and it's kind of made me a little jealous yeah that's that's fair um because i like with my struggle going back and forth on this roller coaster and being in scripture being out of scripture like finding like when i'm not in it i'm just not in the right mindset so i go back to it um, and reading it again now is trying to get me into the mindset of having a purpose again. And I constantly pray for it. Like it reminds me that, Hey, I am in search of a purpose mm-hmm. and I, I, I know I can't find it myself, but I'm trying to like, just put myself out there into situations where I can find a purpose. Um, cause I am a solo player that's like in life too. Like I, I am not a people person. Mm-hmm. So I try to, I, constantly pray about the per- my purpose but right now i find my purpose is just raising a, a child that is a godlike child like yeah. the be- to the best of my ability that's my current purpose i feel that's a pretty um, noble purpose though yeah, right. I, 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 I was about to i was about to say that is a pretty big deal there sarah so <laughs> i would I not downplay but i would not like, downplay I, what you get to do in that situation I, I always feel that a purpose is supposed to be something with like a a like a bigger group of people though and i feel like just raising this one human that i have made so i'm kind of have to uh <laughs> it's a requirement <laughs> like, it's uh, frowned yeah, upon I... if i don't so i do it <laughs> begrudgingly yeah, i'm just kidding <laughs> no, it's like he, he just he's what i do mm-hmm. so i find that that keeps me uh feeling like i'm in like I don't know, good graces by keeping him my purpose currently. Mm. But um, yeah, I struggle to find my own purpose because I'm yeah, so just introverted that I want to, I keep trying to fill my own things. Like maybe this is my purpose and then I just find no fulfillment in it. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. So I am just, I'm still constantly searching, but it's something mm. I, I could tell you a lot of things that I, I don't think it is. Yeah. No, that's fair. But, um, yeah, 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 I'm, I am honestly just still searching, but no, right I, now you yeah, know, it's I, just Lucas. I think, I think a, thank you for yeah, the yeah. honesty there because I think you, you are speaking into the hearts of a lot of people who are probably feeling very, very much the same way. Mm. Right. I hope, like, yeah. I, I just keep praying about it. It's what you mm. have to do really just keep yourself, in the word because like it just keeps speaking to me like yesterday I was talking about i had yesterday was the first time i had to walk lucas to school by myself mm-hmm. and then um i randomly came upon uh, across matthew 6 yesterday about talking about anxiety it's like oh this is talking straight to me today because it knows i have lots of anxiety about taking luke to school by myself see i thought you were so, going to say yeah. that you read the passage where it said to walk by faith and not by sight <laughs> oh no! It was about to just, don't be anxious. It's like don't worry about what you're gonna do. It's like oh yeah no this is this is me today. Mm. So mm. like things like that will happen and uh, just no it's... just keep trying. Like you will find it. I'm sure I will find it. It's something I feel is there. Yeah. But um. Yeah, well, and, and I would also I would also encourage you to that you know we we have this this misconception I think of, of what following God's purpose is. We, we always think it's some grand spectacle, yeah. mm. right? Like yeah. there's this, there's this unrealistic expectation that it's that, that when you're on God's purpose, it's this grand, you know, That's spectacle thing, <laughs> right? Because we always, we always catch the highlights, even, even in biblical literature, when we read biblical Truth. literature, it's always the highlights yeah. of lives, right? 
um, forgetting that these people live daily lives and they, they live for hundreds of years and, 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 you know, much longer than we do, but, but really God's purpose in our lives, it, it, it comes back to that mission, right? Of being on mission and, 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 and loving those around us, loving God and loving others. Like it always comes back to that. Yeah. Um, and the beautiful thing is, is that looks dramatically different wherever you are. In the sense that, like, like how that plays out, not loving God and loving others, but how it actually plays out uh, practically may look dramatically different for, for different times in your life. Right now, you have this incredible opportunity to love God and love others by loving Lucas and raising him Absolutely. up to love God and love others. Right. And, you know, th it's interesting because we always, you know, we get stuck sometimes thinking we need to be the Billy Grahams. But, man, <laughs> I would have been super excited to be the guy that led Billy Graham to mm. Christ. Mm. You know, what I you, mean? Know yes. you know, I want to throw this out there, too, because um, I, I just preached about this last weekend, um, mm -hmm. going through the series uh, with my church uh, about how, how we find our fit uh, in the local church and um, and talking about four four boundaries or four borders in which God kind of builds his church within. And it's uh, in a love for God, a love for people, a um, a, a, a being and making of disciples or discipleship and, and a partnership mm -hmm. with the Holy Spirit. And, uh, in talking about the, the partnership of the Holy spirit, I mean, we, we always, whenever we think about like that conceptually, we think about these really dramatic moments of like, mm. you know, go, the Billy Graham crusades or the, yeah, the yeah. revivals or the tent meetings or the camps or the conferences or the concerts or wherever those moments where you felt something emotionally or that, you know, that there's, there are these kind of like ecstatic experiences, but mm. you have to remember, like even in acts two where you know, Pentecost happens and this dramatic really dramatic moment happens that mm. these people were, I'm, it was like, I think like, like 10 days or so between the mm. ascension of Jesus and the day of Pentecost. And, yeah. uh, and they're living life. They're, they're going about their day to day and they're, and they're, they're living out the commands of Jesus to, to mm. love one another and to, to point people to God and, and whatnot. And it just so happens that in this moment, as they're praying, this thing happens. Uh, yeah. and, and so, um, we, we really look for the dramatic, uh, but we have to remember that even in, even in the, the mundane, God is still in the mundane with you. Oh, absolutely. And that's usually where he's doing a lot of the work. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. like, like, uh, you know, we, uh, one of the, one of my favorite, um, things I ever kind of learned along the road of, of life was this idea that, you know, if you have the spirit in you, it means he's always working with you. Yep. And if you don't have the spirit in you, it means he's working on you. <laughs> um, and That's so, a really good point. Yeah, I like Right. That. So the, the reality is, is that as I'm following God, if I'm being intentional about pursuing God in the everyday, Right. And just have, you know, it's just me and Jesus and, and doing mm -hmm. life and, and all my conversations. If Jesus is in my life, he can't help but come out in my life. True. Um, you know, and, and what I'm what I've learned is that the reality is that the Holy Spirit is always walking with me. Yep. And, and if he's if he's, you know, working in me and working on somebody else, when we intersect, the spirit's already worked that all out because <laughs> he's been working on them up to this point And he's been working in me up to this point. So when we intersect, the spirit's already gone ahead of us. Right. Um, so it's just this, you know, this, it's like all the pieces are there. Right. <laughs> and then, and then it's like the spirits doing the work, uh -huh. um, you know, and, and I think that's, that's kind of what this all comes back to, you know, the, the dumpster fire launches and our, our world in shambles because we were not on, on purpose and on mission. But, but the reality is, is that, that when God is in the midst of our lives man, it's restorative, it's mm. redemptive, it is doing awesome things and even in the everyday even in the mundane and he's taking all of those parts and Dame, you mentioned this earlier he's taking all those parts and he's making something awesome with yeah. them and it is the best place we can be um i won't get too far into my own story but but even recently um the last few years which if you've been following our podcast you've heard lots of our last few years but <laughs> um you know i've i've always kind of had this weird spot in ministry where i didn't know where i fit because I'm am ADD and I, <laughs> you know, my background is everything from ministry to automation. So and everything in between. Um, and I never understood how I fit because I'm going, God, you've given me all these pieces and I keep trying to build the puzzle, but it, it doesn't fit together. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and and it's been this constant journey of going, you know what, God, I don't know how this works, but I'm just going to keep giving it to you. And you, you figure it out because I don't know. And um, and then, you know. 
and, and then the season of my life happened where God kind of dropped me into this place called New Hope, and it all comes together. You know, Isn't it, it all amazing how that happens. <laughs> it is. It's, no, it's incredible, and you know, it's it's beautiful to yeah. see how God takes all these this this broken human being that is me takes all these weird caveats and, and interests and skill sets <laughs> that I have. And they're, they're all over the place. You they see really my resume are. sometime, uh, <laughs> the weirdest resume of life. Um, <laughs> and, and he finds the perfect fit for me. Yeah. Um, and you know, that's, that's the reality for all of us though. That's the promise of a full life that, that Jesus talks about in John ten ten is that when we give our life to him, yeah, it's a rough road. It's a weird road. It's hard some days, but he has the perfect fit for us. And it's a journey, and, and it's a process of seeking him and being obedient to him. But, man, he does incredible things, and he will take the dumpster fires and turn them into something absolutely beautiful. Yeah, um, and that's and that was something that I wanted to, to just bring here as we come to a close, that, um, that even, even in those situations that feel like they are— they're hopeless or that they mm -hmm. are confusing or you have no idea where God even is in the, in the midst of those things. Um, I mean, I could, I could share years of stories of mm. just my own life of, of things where like, I just didn't understand what God was doing or I didn't know what was, you know, why I was in the place that I was in or, or I knew exactly why I was in the mess that I was in. I knew yeah, exactly yeah. why I was in the mess that I was in, but, uh, but, uh, but didn't quite plan on being in that, in that mess. Mm -hmm. But yet God was still able to take that situation and be transformative, uh, mm. with it, not only for me, but to use that story, uh, even my failures, uh, to, to be able to minister to, to other people as well. And, mm. uh, and, and when I talk to people and I hear their stories as well, like, I know I'm not alone in that, yeah. that, uh, yeah. that God has, has done the same thing in their lives, uh, again. Um, and, and, uh, just to throw another, another, uh, a piece of scripture on top of this, uh, in, uh, second Corinthians, Paul writes that if anyone is a new, uh, is, if anyone is in Christ and he's a new creation, the old is gone and the new is, has come. Uh, yeah. we are, we are made new, uh, in, yeah. in Jesus and, uh, and where, where our enemy would seek to bring confusion and to steal joy, to steal purpose, to, to kill and destroy. Uh, mm. God is in the business of redemption. It's what he does. It's part of his nature. And so, mm. uh, so in your, in your wrestling through those things, uh, know that, uh, that God is near for one. And that he has uh, that he has good things in store. Lean into him uh, during these seasons, and I just want to let you know that that you will go through trouble. Uh, mm -hmm. You are going to experience trouble in those things. This isn't going to take those things away, um, but it will help give you some perspective on the other side of it. Uh, when yeah. you begin to see, when you begin to see those 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 connecting points of where God is is weaving your story into somebody else's story, or is weaving those uh, the the ash uh, into uh, into mm -hmm. something bigger and, and something greater, uh, and then mm -hmm. from that uh, from that that He is doing the work and, <laughs> uh, and, uh, sometimes we just have to, to trust him, uh, with it where we're at, but we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here to, to close out our, our episode. Thanks guys for this conversation. Mm, great, great times. conversation today, Matt and Sarah. I always love hanging out with you guys and, and for you guys mm. who are listening, thank you for hanging out with us today. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast app. Make sure you check out the, uh, the video stream there on, on YouTube. Uh, we'll be, uh, we'll also be streaming on Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash roll the level on Tuesdays. And I believe, uh, there's some other Wednesdays. times. Wednesdays. Yep, Wednesdays. Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Fire Emblem. There's Fire Emblem on Wednesdays. <laughs> Fire Emblem Wednesday with Sarah. Exactly. <laughs> the whole day <laughs> <laughs> may, as, may as well but uh, make sure that you do all of the subscription things there click any bells or subscriptions or follows make sure you you uh, check us out uh, on twitter at roll the level or on the facebook's uh, interact with us there we would love to hear from you and we look forward to the next time when we help each other to roll the level